There we go. Here's the Pokemon Center. Nice. Nurse Joy, can you heal my Pokemon again, please? It's like the, the fourth or fifth time I've seen it in this um, live stream session, but you know, that's okay. Ah, didn't mean to talk to you again, I'm sorry. We're walking back to Route, route two, uh, 222, I should say. There we go, we're on Route 222 again. So who's up front? I forget. Is there Chelsea's up front? Okay. So I'm gonna hopefully train Chelsea up to level nine. Kira coming up, so that's good. Okay, it's Arata. Okay, level two. Go Chelsea. Chelsea is gonna use quick attack. Thank you, Chelsea. And one more quick attack should make this Arata. And there we go. And it fainted. Nice. And just again, 16 experience points, leveled up to level 8. That's all good with me. That's what I want, actually. And let's see if we can run into another Pokemon. Which one's this gonna be? Let's get another Rata. This one's level 3. Female. Okay, cool. Go, Chelsea. Maybe use Quick Attack. Ooh, yeah. Two Quick Attacks should faint this Rata, then. That's nice. And there we go. There we go, that's very nice. So, yeah. There we go. And really, this is like a, like the only point in a while for the series that I'll have to go level grind, by the way. So just to let you guys know. So, Spear level 5. Oh um, man, it might take 3 quick attacks now, total, to um, faint the Spear. That's level 5 female. But that's okay. There we go. Oh, quote quote, nice. So that's a scenario or a situation where you think you may have fainted it without the critical hit or may have not because my attack was lowered and stuff but you'll probably, you'll probably be pretty confident that you might have already fainted it without the critical hit but just appreciate every critical hit you can get because they, they are n not always there for you but they can be there for you and when, they, when they're there for you you should appreciate them that's that's just the way how I view it you might have a different like a view on it and that's perfectly fine it's just my personal preference on how I view critical hits in general so there we go, we took down the um, Rattled that was level 3 female with 2 quick attacks and gained, and Chelsea gained 24 experience points. Nice. And this one's a level, oh it's a Mankey, okay cool. This one's, Mankey's level 4, nice. And yeah, it's a male. Let's go down to, let's go to quick attack and, oh a critical quite when it kill. How nice. Chelsea gained 42 experience points. And let's run into our next Pokemon. Oh, encounter, wall encounter. And it's another Mankey, it's level 5. Ooh, this Mankey is level 5 male. Okay. It's just Quick Attack, or Chelsea. Please just Quick Attack if you will. And it's gonna scratch. Did 4 HP on Chelsea. Chelsea is another Quick Attack. And one more Quick Attack should faint this Chelsea, uh, should faint this Mankey. I must Chelsea, but that'd be fainting my, fainting my own Pokemon. But I don't want that to happen. And then, of course, you know, Mankey did another 4 damage, 4 HP on me with that last scratch. Yeah. And yeah, let's just run another wild encounter. Here's a Mankey. Again, level 4, female. Okay. Quick attack. If you would, Chelsea. Okay, one more quick attack should paint this Mankey. It's gonna it's gonna lower down Chelsea's defense by one number with a weir. Because it did that. <laughs> and there we go, the quick attacks it will paint the Mankey. And with that, Chelsea has grew to level, grown to level 9. And let's switch it with Blaster, and switch with Fumi, there we go. Let's go Blaster, oh, Blaster's level 8, so he's, so he's really close to level 9, so that's good. A Mankey, level 3, okay. Let's use Tackle. Let's use Tackle again, and yeah. Let's go tackle again. And Blaster gained 130 experience points. Nice. But not not 130, 31 experience points. I totally misread that. I was do I was just like dozing. Uh, I was like, I don't even know how to explain it. I was kind of sleepy there for a second, so I didn't pay attention. I wasn't really focused. I'm sorry. Here's a Mickey level three female, um, not female, but male. Let's just tackle. 
and three tackles should faint this Mankey, and this Mankey used um, the Weir, so it lowered Blaster's defense by one lo by one number, so that's good, I guess. So it's bad for me, but it's good that he's not that um, this Mankey's not attacking using Scratch on my Blaster, on Blaster. But then with one more tackle, Mankey goes down. Blaster gained 31 experience points and grew to level nine. Grew grown, has grown, grew. I think grew is the proper way to say it. Grew to level 9 instead of grown by, grown to level 9 or something like that. Has grown to level 9. Let's switch to free me. And as I said before, um, earlier in this live stream session that, you know, fear, uh, Sparrow already knows Peck as one of the, and it's the same type of attack bonus, which means you get like, I think 0.15 times um, power, uh, if it's the same type of, it's, if the move is the same type as your, um, as your Pokemon, it, even if it's half water or ice, like say Lapras, for example, uh, if Lapras, um, gets same type of attack bonus on Ice Beam, since it's an ice type move, and it's, and Surf, since it's a water type move, that, um, still, since it's that, those type combi, since it's that type combination, it's still, um, gets the same type of attack bonus from ice type moves and water type moves. So just because it has two types and it's half of ice, half of water, that still applies, which is really good. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center because I wasn't expecting that to be that hit to go all the way to put Fumi all the way into the reds. Um, yeah, and instead I thought it was gonna go to the yellows, but it didn't. So yeah. Oh hi, um, PCA, um, PCAF, Jack B. Um, welcome to the live stream. Yeah. I'm got oh, you're a huge fan. That's cool. I don't have any fans, because I'm honestly really not that popular on YouTube. Like, I only have... Okay, so, here's my scenario. Uh, here's my situation. Well, I shouldn't say it's a situation, but, like, my history with YouTube is... I've been on YouTube for almost seven years now. Um, July 24th of this year, during... In the middle of summer... Uh, season, I, should, I guess you could say. I'll be on YouTube for seven years, but I st I, I actually started on, I actually, um, you know, I was first, I joined YouTube, I should say. I joined YouTube on July 24th of 2009, but I didn't start making videos till early 2010 because I didn't have like a camera or anything to do videos. And here's a Rata. And uh, so my first video was actually uploaded the day I turned 13. So I had my YouTube channel for like half a year prior to that. And I had almost half a year prior to that. And I was 12 at the time. That was back in 2009. I remember watching a bunch of like um, Super Skarmory and Mailand and all that. Like I watched a little bit of Leroy too. Back in, I think it was the start of 2010, I started watching Leroy. I started, I like, I typed in on the YouTube search bar, Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough, because I wanted a Leaf Green walkthrough, because I know a lot of people did Fire Red walkthroughs. Like, I remember Blah Blah LPs did one. Well, that was back when Blah Blah um, LPs was, um, his name was Blah Blah 937211. I remember those numbers at the end, but he kind of switched channels, and that's, I mean, he's been switched, he has been Blah Blah LPs for like over, almost like three years now, I would say. So yeah, but on his old channel, he had a Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play, and I wanted to do to see a Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play because that's like that's my favorite Pokemon game still to this day, and it's been my favorite Pokemon for like six years, Pokemon game for six years. So yeah, and we were actually ended up doing a walkthrough on that. So like, hey, I should subscribe to him. And like, I remember actually one of my first videos of him of seeing him, I actually saw him catch Mewtwo and, and a po not in a Pokeball, but an Ultra Ball on the first try, and it, it was in the, it was in the reds, he, um, he got it lowered down to the reds health zone, and again, uh, Sphere agreed to level whatever, I wasn't paying attention, sorry, I think level 4, but yeah, and he was, he was always shocked because he forgot to buy Ultra Balls at the Mart, and he was thought he was going to have to restart his recording, because Chillin Cave does take a long time to record, but then again he sped it up in editing, so, yeah, but it still took a long time for him to record because when you record something, you can't speed it up unless it's like on an emulator when you're recording at the time, before even you edit it. So that was interesting. Yeah, but I'm really honestly not that popular on YouTube. Even though I've been on YouTube for um almost seven years, I, st I have like 1,331 subscribers right now, but 
I don't know, like people, like I know, I've had, I've had my channel longer than PewDiePie, and because PewDiePie made his channel in like 2010, and you see PewDiePie is number one must subscribe, but then he got popular, you know, he got a breakout, where he got really popular, I'm gonna just run from this battle, but that's okay, I mean PewDiePie is awesome, my friends don't like PewDiePie for some reason, but I think he's really nice and stuff, watch his videos, a <laughs> 19 year old watching PewDiePie videos, it's still okay, he has really good content, so, there's nothing to argue with that. I mean, people like him. He's a very likable guy. He's very friendly, I heard. I, I feel he's very friendly. He's very nice in his videos and other stuff in other people's videos. But yeah, overall, I'm just not that popular on YouTube. But hopefully, I get, you know, a big, like, great... I get, like, a big time period where I just become popular and stuff. Or get more noticed, you know? Because I'm not that... People don't notice me on YouTube that much, really, so... You know, it's okay, though. I mean, I still do videos. I've still I've I've done videos for like six years now, and over six years actually, and I'm still having fun. I still I'm gonna make videos. Um, I mean, I I want to major in video production. So like, I've been I've been editing videos for like six years. So I, that's what I want to major in because I really like editing videos, and it's fun and I take interest in it. And I love it. So that's just basically my spiel about all that. And oh hi Luca um Bri Brim Briar um sup <laughs> welcome to the live stream I'm sorry to, I noticed your comment like two minutes ago but I was on my I was having a little spiel I'm sorry about that hi um Drick Drif Drim Mix um 1224 is the thing is this on your computer I just got here. Um, yes, this is on my computer. I'm actually on the left. You see the gameplay, and it's off an emulator called the Visual Boy Advance. It's pretty common. Um, just Google Visual Boy Advance on YouTube if you, uh, not on YouTube, but on Google if you want to get it. That's where you can play, um, Pokemon games, like Pokemon, uh, Nintendo Game Boy games, Pokemon Game Boy Color games, and Pokemon, or not, I just keep on saying Pokemon. Um, Game Boy Advance games, like Pokemon Leaf Green a lot. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, there we go, we take down the Minky. And on the right is just, um, I did, I'm using a program called LBS to stream, live stream this, uh, live stream session. And I, I made it to where I can have, like, transparent, uh, Twitch chat, which is really nice looking. I hope you guys like that. Uh, that's over my little gradient that I made. Because, like, it's yellow and orange, it's a yellow and orange gradient going diagonally. And I thought it matched with, like, Pokemon Fire Red, so that's why I put it there. And actually, I looked at it. Um, and I think I really like the color and how the chat looks on that, um, background for that transparent chat, Twitch chat. So yeah, that's the dealio and all that. And above the, um, above that is the chat, and it's, um, it has the flame text of the chat. And to the, um, to the left of that is, um, I'll explain it again. I explained it at the beginning of the session, but I'll explain it again. Um, at the very, t at the far right, or far left, there's the Pokemon Fire Red logo. Pokemon, and then next to that is Squirtle, because I ended up cho choosing Squirtle for this series. And next, after that, to the right of that is a uh, YouTube logo, a uh, Twitter logo, a Facebook logo, and Twitch logo. And all of that's at Giant Grotle. So, and Giant Grotle is my name on the internet, basically. So I have like my YouTube's Giant, my YouTube name is Giant Grotle. I'm known as Giant Grotle on Twitter. I'm known as Giant Grotle on Facebook on my Facebook fan page. And I'm known as Giant Grotle on Twitch here when I'm live streaming this. And then next to that, to the right, is a Grotl, because a giant Grotl, he's my mascot. A Grotl's my favorite Pokemon, he's my mascot. And yeah, and then Bulbasaur and Charmander to, to the right, too, because those are the two starters in Pokemon Fire Red. I'm not that really good at making, like, layouts, but I'm kind of... I think this one's okay, in my opinion, I guess. It's not great, but it's okay. It's not even good, but it's okay. I mean, I, I, I don't really focus on making layouts that... Like, like that look really cool, but I focus on like having to edit a video and like it look very cool, like effects and trans, um, transitions and text overlays and effects and all that. That's what I focus on doing better. So you know, just the just the normal stuff. So let's use pack on this make it level three. There we go. Awesome. And we gain uh, few good level, uh, not good a level, but gain thirty one experience points. So yeah. Here's a uh, Rata, and let's just peck on this thing. Yeah, let's just another peck. 
There we go. Awesome. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome.